What's up guys? So today I am building the framework of um, our bed. Just wanted to show you guys the wood pieces that we'll be using to build the framework. The first two are um, what's going to be the framework that's going to, that the bed is actually going to be sitting on. This one, the third piece right here, that's those, the slats that's going to be going in the middle of the frame to support the bed so it doesn't fall through. And then these pieces here are actually going to be the, um, the bottom, bottom frame that's actually going to serve as like a floating will give that floating bed look. So those are the pieces that we'll be using to create that frame that's going to go all the way at the bottom of the actual frame that the bed will be sitting on. So um, I wrote on, I already measured these out, but I just wanted to um, show you guys the measurements for each piece. So this, these two wood pieces, um, I will be cutting at 64 inches for this one. And then the second, um, these two here, I will be cutting at 80 and a half inches. So these are just the measurements of each wood board. So you see it's two by four by six feet. That's what the six stands for. And this is two by four, seven feet, and the rest of them and so on and so forth. So you'll see um, those are just the measurements of each board. But like I said, these are the measurements of that I'll be cutting for each piece that it needs to be. So this needs to be 64 inch, that needs to be 80 and a half inches, 67 inches. I also wanted to show you guys a piece of the wood um, that I got that was really bad. As you see right here, it's pretty cracked. You don't want to get a wood piece that is this cracked, so I do have to take this back, but you don't want to get a piece that's this cracked because what can potentially happen is like if you try to put weight onto it, it's going to collapse. So never get a piece that is cracked like this. So it's cracked all the way over here, and it seems pretty deep, so that's why I'm going to take it back um, when I initially got it the warehouse was kind of dark so i didn't really get a good examining of the wood piece when i first got it so that's my fault but um like i said if you are picking out wood pieces make sure you pay attention to the um board so that you make sure that you're getting the right piece and nothing that's cracked or warped so <laughs> This is just um, the wood all cut. So now we're getting ready to take this upstairs and get ready to put it together. Here I just wanted to show you guys our old bed frame that we created that we were going to be using for a different bed, which was an upholstered bed. This is the upholster bed that we wanted to build, um, but we decided to go a different direction and go with something that we feel was more modern. With everything we wanted in a bedroom set, the total would have cost over $1,200, which includes the nightstand and the lights. But we went a different direction with that as well, which you will see later on in this video.
right, hey guys. So I just wanted to show something real quick to you guys. So um, originally we were gonna try to put the 10 inch um, wood panel to give that floating effect, but we felt that it would have shown too much at the bottom, like if you're standing from far distance. So, and I didn't like that. I wanted to, you know, I wanted it to be hidden. So we went with the original base that we had on here, which is six inches high. So we're going to use that one instead, but I just wanted to show you guys that we did uh, use this, the original base that was on our old frame that we built instead of the 10 inch one, which is this board right there. with the base to make sure that everything is lined up so that when we attach the um, wood scraps to the middle part they're all flush. as the lip is six inches wide so I measured four inches in to have two inches of hang time or lip. Make sure the knots are facing the back of the board of the unused side. This is just the wood filler that um, my husband is using to fill in the little holes and gaps so that way when we wrap it's not going to be uneven. And this is the wood wrap that we decided to use for our bin. If you've never wrapped anything before with like wallpaper or did any wallpaper type of jobs, uh, just know that this is a tedious task because it takes a lot of patience. So just so you know. Now we could have painted the actual wood matte black, 
but I wanted an artificially uniform wood grain pattern. That's why we chose the wrap method because it achieves that look. my husband just using a wood filler again to fill in the screws so that way um, when we put the wrap on it's not gonna go in those little gaps. And I'm just sanding them here. Here I just want to show you guys how I am wrapping the headboard. Because this is a big headboard, I decided to start from the middle when smoothing it out and then work my way to the sides. I felt that that was a lot easier and it definitely got out the bubbles that was um, forming and inside. So. 